Hey y'all, I wanted to get on a quick campaign for liberty update. Uh, this election season definitely seems to be a crackling, <laughs> crackling good time. All right. Uh, first things first, if you intend to vote this November for the, uh, the primary presidential election, the time to register would be ASAP because many places require that you be registered to vote, uh, like 30 days or something before the election, and it's better to not put it off. Um, something you may be a little bit late for, local elections, and if your area is anything like mine, local elections are coming up here in August for uh, county commissioners, sheriff, things like that, depending on your area. Uh, if you're lucky, if you're extremely lucky like me, you get to actually vote for uh, public defenders and circuit judges which is kind of cool. It's really nice to have that in my area. Now, if only our if only our county commission wasn't comprised of a bunch of mafia thugs, it'd be great, right? Who You know what? In a in an area where the mean average income is like 25,000 a year or some shit, how in the hell are you going to have and require 100 and a $150,000 impact fee for a new brick and mortar business? That's what I want to know. Somebody, somebody here needs to answer that question for me. And I want to hear some logic because I do not see that as logical. Seems to me just a little bit of payola, you know, a chance to sort of auger, auger a new business that may move in or something. Okay. So, um, the other part of the Campaign for Liberty, I think it would be best to wait until after the general election to, to push what I suggested earlier, which was to have a category for no confidence. Uh, the no confidence category, in my opinion, if it's, if it's advertised correctly, would give a chance for disenfranchised citizens to make their voice be known. Say, listen, the candidates that we have here, uh, I have no confidence in the candidates that are being presented. Now you can say, well, it doesn't matter, whatever. Uh, if it's done in, in such a fashion, at least your local supervisor of elections will be aware of that situation. And it, it's, just a, it's just a way to try to communicate. Uh, and it's, it's going to be baby steps on the path back to liberty, people. If we were ever there in the first place, right? Now, the other part, and something that I would like to get some help with, Here's a thought that I've had, and I thought of this, and I've been thinking about it for a while, and it's based on um, the Federalist Number 10 and everything that I understand about what I believe James Madison's intentions were with the, with the writing and the, and the certain processes of the Constitution. The idea of checks and balances were to ensure that only the best idea moved forward, not to make sure that when one person was giving it to another person from behind, that they gave them some kind of a reach around. Now, I apologize for my vulgarity, and if anybody thinks that my vulgarity is somehow inhibiting this, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll clean it up a little bit. <laughs> anyway, what I would like to propose and what I would like to have some help with in the wording is a nice short synopsis proposing a bill or an act perhaps both, and then we'll eventually send it to both our senators as well as our representatives that will say, if a senator or representative proposes an amendment that is not related directly to the bill, then that individual representative or senator will be censured. And what I mean by censured is for a certain amount of time, they're, they won't be able to propose any bills. Furthermore, their constituency should be given a notice that their representative or senator has been censured for a specific reason. I, I, I don't know, it just, I'm, I'm just sort of working it out here, and it's, it's the, recent, uh, the recent events of this uh, pork some recent pork on a, on a certain bill that doesn't have anything to do with it, uh, brought it, brought it to my, the forefront of my mind here. So let me know what y'all think. And, uh, you know, PM video responses, all of it will be welcome. And, uh, we'll see y'all later.